What's going on guys? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can code your own responsive navigation. We only going to use HTML and CSS, no JavaScript, all right? So that's cool. Here you can see that I have some HTML. I only have um, a reset CSS font awesome that we're going to use it for the icon, the burger icon, or three lines icon or whatever you want to call it. We have a style CSS, which you can see here. We have a style for the navigation class, a background font size and some padding, nothing special. We have here the navigation and inside this navigation, we have the actual menu, which you can see here is a list, a very simple list. And um, let's see how it looks. And that's it, nothing special. Um, just um, a very, very big list and a background. That's it. So let's go back here and let's start adding some style. So um, I'm going to add the burger icon first. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So here inside my navigation div, right before my menu, I'm going to add a checkbox input. That's what I'm going to use for that burger icon button. Okay, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna add a label. Let's start and in adding the input here. Okay, so this is gonna be our input. The type is gonna be checkbox. All right, and we need to add the ID because that's how this label is gonna communicate with the input. You're gonna see it in a minute why this is very important. So let's call it burger. <laughs> let's just call it burger. And then here four is gonna be for burger because our ID is burger, okay? So now this label is connected to this input. So right here, our label is gonna be the icon. So um, the icon is gonna come from font awesome and I have it somewhere here. So let me just copy and paste it right there. All right, this is the code for that icon. And let's save it and let's see how this looks. All right, so if you click on the icon, you can see that is um, is gonna check and is is gonna be checked and not checked. So it's gonna be like true or false and all that stuff. So this is working. Same thing if you click here, but we're not gonna use it. We're just we're just gonna hide it, and we're gonna use this. All right, cool. Let's go back here, and now let's start doing some styling. So let's go here. And let's do navigation dot main menu. And let's do like, this is gonna be with 100%. I wanna be with 100% our main menu. Display, I'm gonna use Flexbox, which I love. So display flex. And let's, let's do justify content um, space between. Yeah. All right. Now, you know what? Space around because space between is going to be only in between them. And then the one, the first one and the last one, they're not going to have space. So space around. Let's see how it looks. And here you go. So we have now like every um, link have like even space. So they look pretty cool. Um, let's go back. Let's style a little bit more. So let's say, um, because right now we have this dot and every the line and that blue color, let's just remove that. So it's gonna be navigation dot main menu A. And let's start on light color, for example, let's say a dark gray, text decoration, that's the line. So let's get rid of that none list style those are like those dots none and let's add some padding let's say 15 pixels um, top and bottom zero left and right it's gonna be with 100 percent so they're gonna take 100 percent of the width but remember with flexbox it doesn't matter 
So um, they're gonna take 100% of their space. You know, they only they're gonna have their even space. That's why Flexbox is so good. So let's text align them in the center. And um, I think that's it. So let's see, let's save it. Let's see how this looks. Cool. All right, looking good. Let's add some hover. So I'm just gonna copy all this. I'm gonna do hover. And the background, we can do, um, let's say a white, because our background is like kind of gray. All right, and I'm gonna add some transition so it's, the hover is kind of, you know, it's smooth, like a smooth transition. Transition all, oops, 0.3 seconds if I can write it. All right, reload. Cool, now we have that, you know, hover and smooth transition. All right, looking pretty cool. Now I'm gonna, I wanna kind of hide that burger icon. So let's say um, ID because it's an ID as you can see here. Burger. Display none, none. And I'm gonna do the same with the actual label. So let's do navigation label. Display none. All right, so let's go here. Cool, so now do you, you see that we have the navigation, everything looking good. We don't have the burger icon, that's what we want. We only want the bear icon when we are on like a mobile um, or, or whatever size you really want. So let's go back. Let's start by adding media. This is gonna be our responsive code. Max width, I'm gonna say for now 992 pixels which this is kind of like a tablet size, I can say, but you can do whatever you want. You can do multiple sizes and everything. I'm just gonna do this one for this tutorial. Um, so let's say uh, the navigation main menu. So this one is the, the one that we have here, Flexbox. So this is very simple. We're gonna change it to Flex direction column. I think it's pretty cool. So let's do that and let's see how it looks. Let's reload the page. All right, so when I go to like 900, there you go. So it seems like this is like 992 pixels. So any change to a column um, flex direction, which is what we want for mobile. All right, so that's working. But we need to hide it and we need to show the burger icon. So let's do that. Let's go back and let's do display none. So we need to hide it. And now here we're gonna do navigation, this one right here, label. We want to show the, only the label, which is the icon. I'm gonna do display inline block. That's what I want. So let's see if that works. Um, we need to hide this navigation, the normal one, and we need to uh, display the label. So let's go, let's reload the page, let's do it. There you go. Now we have the label right here. Let me change it to the cursor to a pointer, so you know, people know that you can click on it. There you go. All right, let's go back. Let's see what else. All right, and now what we're gonna do is when we click, when we click, we wanna show that um, main menu. So let's do this. 
Here's the trick. Burger. Burger is our checkbox, okay? So if burger is checked, we're gonna go to our immediate sibling, which is like our immediate div that we have. So it's gonna be the immediate main menu. If you're confused about this, um, there is a link in the description, so don't worry about it. All right, so if that's checked, we're gonna go to the main menu and we're gonna do display flex. All right, let's save that. Let's see if that works. Let's reload the page. Let's click here. And there you go. If we click back, it disappears because it's not checked. Let's, let's see. Cool, everything working. Go here. There we go. So I know this is very basic. Um, we don't have like fancy animations and stuff like that. You can do it but this is like something quick that you can do. It works. Now, if you want to add some JavaScript, you can do it. And, um, but if you don't have to, you don't have to. You just try to use CSS to create some animations and stuff like that. All right, that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.